Hey everybody, this is a Quad Nines back doing my box summary for my third box of Ravnica, or Return of Ravnica, sorry. Um, this is the promo you're supposed to get with it. I actually got this one off eBay because my store's order of promos apparently never went through. So, anyway, I'm wanting to trade for a couple more of these. If anybody has any, let me know. But on to the actual box. Uh, this is just going to be like the rares, uh, mythics, and fools. Uh, I'm going to start off with a couple of just random fools. We've got a swamp, it's pretty sweet. Uh, Swift Justice, Centaur's Herald, and Pursuit of Flight, limited all stars. Going on to the rares, we've got Guild Feud, Carnival Hellsteed, Havoc Festival, Martial Law, Conjured Currency, Mercurial Chemistry, Sphinx of the Chimes, Grave Betrayal. Palisade Giant, Righteous Authority, Volatile Rig, and Mana Bloom. Oops, sorry. Going down the next row, we've got Hypersonic Dragon, Wayfaring Temple, Collective Blessing, Counterflux, Slaughter Games, Pithing Needle, Precinct Captain, and Niv Magus Elemental. On the Underworld Connections, Cyclonic Rift, Rest in Peace, Loxodon Smiter, Epic Experiment, a Full Desecration Demon, Mizium Mortars, and a Foil Is It Charm, which surprisingly is worth eight dollars. Pretty sweet card though. On to some more of the money cards. Uh, I've got Deathright Shaman, Blood Crypt. Sorry for the shake there. Steam Vents number one and Steam Vents number two. Armada Worm. One of my favorite cards I pulled is the full Sphinx's Revelation just because it's a card I figure I'll play for the next two years and it's shiny. And I like fools. So. Uh, the last row we have Temple Garden, Veraska the Unseen, Overgrown Tomb, Hallowed Fountain, and an Angel of Serenity. So. That's right, I actually pulled six Shocklands, which I was pretty pumped about. And, you know, a full Mythic, full Rare, and just a lot of cards that I either needed or think I can trade. So, pretty good box. Can't complain at all. Got, uh, like I said, definitely got your money's worth. If you're thinking about buying singles from Ravnica, um, which I, I bought, I had some store credit, and I put some towards the Jace because I hadn't opened but one. But it's just, um, I don't know, the boxes just have so many money cards, and sure, they'll come down soon, but uh, you're almost, if you have a waves of saving up or to get it, just buy a box and see what you crack and trade them away. Because, um, I mean, I just can't imagine just coming off, you know, $25 for a play set of angels. I think I've opened two and traded for one uh, off of stuff that I opened from my other box. So, you know. I'm all about buying singles sometimes, but not when it's the current box and when they're just this much value can be had. Um, so I think these five dollar cards start right here, and you know, go up. These are above ten all in here. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, if you open a box, show what you got. We'll see if we can do some trades. Thanks.